Hi everybody, my name is Lebo and welcome back to another insert. Disclaimer, I'm really bad, like extremely bad at telling stories. So I really hope that you guys bear with me in this video. I'm going to try my best to tell a story that makes sense. Okay, so if you're new here, welcome. I really hope that you subscribe and you return. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in. You know, you are the real MVP and I really appreciate you and you are the reason I keep doing what I'm doing. So yeah, anyway... As you can read by the title, I'm finally doing the long-awaited video. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing this video is because a few weeks ago, I was sort of like, not really ranting, but I was on Twitter and, you know, like I was just thinking about the stuff that like I've endured in relationships and went through and... You know, like just yay, bigger zeling basically. That's what I, was. I tweeted about. I think the thing that stood out was the fact that I bought one of my exes <laughs> an Xbox, right? And then he broke up with me. So, like, he broke up with me before my birthday. So, um, I went on Instagram and then I did a poll. Nah, and I was like, should I do a story time on my channel? And a lot of people said yes. So that's the reason why I'm doing this today. And it is a mukbang. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. So I will be eating. I made wings. I don't know if they look the greatest, but they look really nice in person. So I made wings. And yeah i'll be eating these while i tell you guys about what happened so stay tuned okay, let me start from the beginning so me and this guy met late 2017 so like 2017 december because i remember i was writing exams yeah so He DMs me on Twitter, that's how we met. He DMs me on Twitter. Basically, showing an interest in me, ne? So I heard, okay, this guy's cute, you know? So, let me talk to him, you know? At that time, oh, this is so hot. That time, he didn't, I didn't. I feel like I didn't really know myself, guys. So I was single. I was miserable being single. I didn't want to be single. So I would just jump at whoever gave me attention, basically. Now, so a guy that comes into my DMs, plus I'm like so miserable being single, like I've had enough. So this guy comes into my DMs and I'm like, ah, oh, okay, cool. You know, we start talking conversation and then moves on to whatsapp start talking on whatsapp okay shop um then i think after like two weeks <laughs> i realized that oh my gosh i actually like this guy so much so that i wouldn't mind being in a relationship with him you know if he asked me to be in a relationship with him i we wouldn't say no, ne? So, we finally meet, like, in December, like, beginning of December. And then, was it beginning of December or the end of November? I'm not sure. But, 
we met in person, yeah. And then we hit it all things with her, you know. And asked me to be in a relationship with him, I said yes. And it was nice, you know. And then, hey, first red flag, guys. The first red flag was when <laughs> he broke up with me. I think it was four days before Valentine's. This is 2018 now. The worst day of my life because of this relationship mainly. Okay, so he breaks up with me like four days before Valentine's now. And his reason is he can't do it anymore. I deserve better. Um, he's not happy, you know, and I'm not gonna, like, he's not gonna be the right guy for me at that time, right? So I'm like, hey, but um, out of nowhere, Jay, like, you wanna break up with me? You know, I was confused, but I was like, okay, let me give him what he wants, you know, and we ended things. I think it was a Saturday. Hey. And then he comes back the day before Valentine's. And he's like, Can we talk? Like, I'm really sorry for what I did. I still want to be with you. You know, blah, 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 blah. This is like the night before Valentine's. So, obviously, your girl's not expecting anything for Valentine's. I didn't buy him anything because I have a single. So, that was the first red flag. Yeah. The only reason I took him back was because my mom was like, take that boy back. You see, if it wasn't for my mother, I would have never taken him back. And mind you, at that time, my mom didn't even know him. She just knew about him, but she had never met him before. So my mom was like, hey, bro, just give him a chance. You know, you don't know what he's going through. And then on Valentine's he asked to see me. And when he comes after work, there was just a lot going on in his life that I'm not gonna disclose because I'm not that type of person, you know, but there was just a lot happening in his life. Okay. So that was the first two red flags. Relationship continues, you know, good night guys. Like it was nice. We had fun, we went on a vacation to have these like they won't end, you know. Like no more relationships, honeymoon phase things, you know. He redeemed himself because, oh yeah, he redeemed himself because after he broke up with me and then he came back, I was like, write me a letter, write me an essay, basically, one thousand words or something like that, of why I should take you back. So he wrote it back to me, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna take you back, you know. Hey. Second red flag was <laughs> my graduation in May. No? Graduated in May. I didn't invite him to the graduation because it was my first ever graduation and I didn't want him to experience that with me, you know, because you can only have your first graduation once and you can only have your last graduation once. You know, so maybe if it was like my honors or whatever, I would have invited him, you know. But the first one, I only wanted important people there who were with me through my journey from the beginning until the end, right? So I was like, mm -mm, I'm not gonna invite him. But my friend had an after party, like, um, for the graduation, so she invited me and then I invited him, so we went together. So that's when I saw him after my graduation. No gift, nothing, not even tissue. You know, like tissue, like I know you were probably crying today. He has tissue, like nothing, no gift, like nothing at all. Like he just came, he fetched me, and that was it. You know, and his thing was, I was going to buy you something, but I didn't know if you'd like it. Like, I was like, the thought, it's the thought that comes, doesn't even count there, like it doesn't. No. And mind you, the only thing I received from this guy is flowers. <laughs> Where are they? They are dead. <laughs> oh!
<laughs> but anyway <laughs> so that was the second red flag he didn't get me anything for my graduation so his birthday is in june it's may i'm already planning what i'm gonna get him for his birthday you know i'm saving up and whatever mind you i'm unemployed at this time like i just graduated unemployed girl but the girl made a plan so me planning what i'm gonna get him for his graduation mm, i need a drink no so i ask him to send me a list of five things he wants no and then i'll pick from that list okay on that list, if I remember correctly, Lacoste golf t-shirts. <laughs> Lacoste golf t-shirts, a pair of shoes, I think, a timepiece, Xbox One, and Bluetooth headsets, headphones, whatever. I'm like, okay. Like all these things are expensive. Like I just looked at something like oh, all these things are expensive. But I was like, he's my man, so I'll make a plan. And what did I do? I made a plan. So mm, this is very hard here. We think I'm talking. Okay, so guys, let me tell you. What I got him. <laughs> so, I knew he wanted golf t shirts, right? I didn't know which ones. So, even before he gave me his list, I bought two polo golf t shirts. Ne? After that, I get the list. I go to Lacoste, I buy the golf t shirts. <laughs> I buy an Xbox. I buy a brand new Xbox One. I buy GTA 5, FIFA 18. I buy the headsets. That's three out of the five things with an additional gift to the polo things. Then, because you were selling 25 that year. So I decided, no, you need to, you need to celebrate, bruh. Because whoever knows me knows that I'm big on birthdays, like I always celebrate my birthday, you know, and if I love you, I want you to celebrate your birthday too, you know, so, <laughs> yeah, I plan a dinner for him, I'll tell him to invite his friends, I make the invitation for him to send to his friends, with my time, I make the invitation, he sends it to his friends, I think there were like 10 of them or something, Make the I make the reservation. Okay, so the dinner was everyone's gonna pay for themselves. Shop. So everyone paid for themselves at the dinner. Ne? I paid for brothers, <laughs> and I wasn't supposed to, but I paid for him regardless because it was his birthday. So I was like, I let me pay. I ordered a cake and I paid for the cake. Ne? Um, what else happened? You see those when you go to a wedding, fuck these birds. You see when you go to a wedding and you get those thank you for coming things. I made those thank you for coming things, guys. Like I went and I bought chocolates and little nice things and the bags, that thing. And he still came to my house and used my Wi-Fi to set up that Xbox of his. Okay, anyway, you know, like, I went all out for Mokai. At that time, he's the one who works. I'm unemployed. But I made it work. You know, so... You'd expect him to at least want to do something for me for my birthday. You know? My birthday is in September. Okay. So... After June, things just started going downhill we would fight a lot he would basically tell me that 
we're not compatible basically in a nutshell i wasn't smart enough for him like intellectually i wasn't on the same level as him and not guys i'm not gonna lie i'm not an intellectual person and i put it out there i told him i'm not an intellectual person i'm not gonna engage in intellectual conversations when i'm not comfortable about talking about a certain topic if i'm not comfortable with speaking about that topic i'm not going to engage in the conversation i'm just going to listen you know but i'm not going to engage if it's something i'm comfortable with talking about then i'll be intellectual for you you know so i wasn't intellectual enough i wasn't smart enough i wasn't challenging enough i wasn't you know basically i was just a face so he would always have these conversations with me telling me mm -mm, bleh, this isn't working and because your girl didn't know her worth i would fight until no we're gonna make this work bruh you like guys i would not eat like if we fight i wouldn't eat i would not eat because he doesn't want this relationship and i want it you know and i was just like what am i doing wrong you know and like i lost weight guys i had to go to the doctor my mom was like, bruh, you're losing too much weight. She took me to the doctor and she was like, what's going on with this child? The doctor recommended me to go see a psychologist because every time we'd fight, Yoko was going through the most. Baby Shuba, basically. Basically. That relationship was going to send me to ICU. Yeah. June, July, August. <laughs> August. Did so good time, guys. <laughs> so August comes. I'm just gonna fast track to the day when we broke up. So basically, we were still having the same fights, you know, and stuff like that. And then we were in a good place. We were in a good place for like a good week, yeah. And I was like, yes, we're in a good place again, yeah. But I was even talking to my barriers and how I was happy that we were in a good place, yeah. So. So I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, the relationship is finally working. No, all my hard work, all my sacrifices are paying off. Like, I sacrificed so much for that man, guys. That day came, so it was a Sunday, and my cousin invited us over to her house, just the two of us. Okay, so we drove to my cousin's place, no? and like, before we went to my cousin's place, I found a handbag in his car, no? which was his colleague's handbag, but I was like, okay, fine, you know, I kept quiet, I took bone of crime, I read bone of crime in the car while we weren't talking, you know, because of that handbag. Okay, so... We get to my cousin's place and then I tell her what happened with the handbag, you know? And then <laughs> we just like we were in shock because my cousin saw the handbag in the boot, you know? because we were bringing stuff for her and the stuff was in the boot. And she thought the handbag was mine until I told her it's not mine. That's when things started shooting. And then my cousin was like, nah. What he's doing is not right. So basically, I think we sort of like ambushed him, you know, but I was just quiet. My cousin was talking, she was like, what you're doing isn't right, you know, like how can one person be wanting the relationship to work and fighting for the relationship to work and the other one is just sitting and, you know, so yeah, and then he was like, no, I'm willing to make it work, you know, because I feel like I gave him a, an ultimatum and I was like, you have to, sorry, you have to choose between me and your friend. Nah. So that was the ultimatum, your colleague. And then he was like, no, I choose you. Like, we can even go to her place now and take this bag there. You know, blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah. Okay. Like, I was just like, it's, it's not a big deal. It's fine. Okay. And then the next day. I'm thinking everything's fine. I can't. The next day, it was Monday, 
night. <laughs> He's like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I don't want to have to pick between people and blah, blah, blah. And I just feel like oh, we're not compatible. This is not working. We've been fighting a lot, you know, and we've been doing things to salvage this relationship, but nothing's working. Mind you, this is two weeks before my birthday, like two weeks. We, okay, so what I wanted to do for my birthday was go to Sun City, ne? because I hadn't been like in a while. So I was like, I want to go to Sun City, you know, and then as a gift to me, my parents paid for our accommodation, mine and his accommodation, right? So they gave me the money and then I gave him the money and I was like, please pay for the accommodation you know because you want a man to feel like a man you know so i was like please pay for the accommodation you know so he paid for the accommodation and everything and then he dumped me he dumped me accommodation is already paid for you know like sun city guys i'm there and i cannot cancel so he breaks up with me this time i didn't fight guys i was just like you know that's okay it's fine if you want to go, it's okay. You know, like I had to sit with myself and tell myself that it's okay, babes. Like, it's fine. You, you did everything you could and clearly it's not meant to be. So, yeah. Then, we broke up with Keshap. We broke up. I told my parents, like, I don't know if I'm still going to go to San City because I don't know if it's going to be the same, you know? Hey, so... My birthday is on the 6th of September. It was on a Thursday that year. So he had like a dish ne, that it was my mom's dish. So we dished up for him this one day. And then he took the plates to his place obviously and then he didn't bring it back. Ne? So like when we broke up, I was like, oh, don't forget my mother's plate. Ne? And then he was like, okay, whatever, cool. On the day of my birthday, <laughs> he asked to see me on the day of my birthday. I'm like, yes, okay, maybe he wants to apologize, you know, like maybe he's saying, let's go to Sun City, you know? Guys, he came to bring my mother's blade. On my birthday. Or he basically came and he was like, Nancy Blade. <laughs> he was basically like, Nancy Blade, girl. And on top of that, if you didn't hear me two weeks ago, it's over. I'm done. Like, it's over. And then I still went to Santetti. I went with my cousin, the one who was the mediator. And yeah, we got to Sun City. Get to the gate, I'm like, oh, label, daddy, you know? They're like, your name isn't here. The reservation was still under his name. When we got to the accommodation, they give you a key, a card. His name was on the card. Guys, like, do you understand? Like, I didn't enjoy my birthday that year. Like, I did not. Because his name was on everything and every time like i think oh my gosh like, i'd be doing this with him you know blah 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 like guys a cut deep and to make it worse mokai texts me on the saturday while i'm in sun city and he asked me to borrow him money <laughs> so basically i was just used for money Basically, I feel like I came to that conclusion that this guy was just using me. But I will say that good riddance, honestly, you know, at the time, obviously, it did not make sense to me why the relationship was ending. Yo, this bird. Fuck. Okay, but anyway, it didn't make sense. You know, to me, I was just like, why? Like, why is this happening? You know? And then like because i feel like my mistake was once i was out of a relationship i would jump into another one 
right? Like without even healing or without even getting over it or whatever. And my relationships scarred me. Like majority of my relationships showed me flames. And then I just jump into the next one, you know? So I felt like, girl, you don't know yourself. You don't love yourself, you know? And my happiness depended on someone else. Like I needed to be in a relationship in order to be happy. That's what I thought. <laughs> 2018 was like, no girl, you can make yourself happy. Like, you are enough, you are worthy, you know? And that's when I didn't even make a decision that I want to be single. It just happened on its own, you know, because, like, guys, it was so liberating. Like, it was so liberating. And I feel like the thing that made it even more liberating was the fact that I didn't plan that that was what I wanted to do at that time, you know? So it happened on its own you know like people were approaching me left right center you know it's like my energy something in my energy changed and i became a completely different person i loved myself for who i was and i learned that i do not need a man to make me happy i was happy on my own you know like yo that that was the beginning of my whole phase but yeah, that's basically what happened. I hope I did well in telling that story because I suck at telling stories. Okay, questions I'm gonna answer. Do I have any regrets about buying the Xbox and like spending so much money on him? No, I do not have any regrets. And the reason is when I bought those things, I was buying them for someone that I loved and the purpose was to make the person that I loved happy right and giving him those gifts made him happy at that time and that's exactly what i wanted and i accomplished that so why would i regret that you know i don't regret anything at all and that is another reason why i didn't even ask for anything back like i was just like they he's he can have them and that's that on that you know so yeah um another question is what did i learn from the relationship I learned that value yourself, know your worth before you enter a relationship because if you don't know your worth, a man will take that for granted. They will take that for granted. So I also learned that you can't make someone stay. If they don't want to stay, they're not going to stay. If they don't want to change, they're not going to change. Not for you, you know, they'll change for the person they want to change for. But if they don't want to change for you, then they're not going to change for you, boo. You know, and that's when you need to know your worth and move, like get out of there. The last question is, am I happy now? I'm very happy. Um, you know, I feel like there's exes that you keep in your life, you know, after you guys broke up and then there's just those that it's better that they're not in your life this one is one of those it's better that he's not in my life you know um yeah they were le like they were lessons that were learned and whatever but it is what it is and yeah i'm very happy now guys i'm really happy and I feel like I'm treated the way I deserve to be treated and treated the way I deserve to be treated because I know how I deserve to be treated and I'm not going to take anything less than what I deserve. And yes, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I know that I can be all over the place sometimes and this video is very long. I really do apologize for that. But yeah, guys, um... I hope that you like this video. Please like it. Please comment. And most importantly, please subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one.